Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. Uh, I just restarted it, so if you didn't find it in that usual place, I'll show you how to actually get into it. So, when in Funbridge, all you have to do is click Get Started slash Practice, Exclusive Tournaments, and if you haven't seen it here, uh, you want to uh, click View All Tournaments and then just type in BridgeVid or Pete Hollands um, or something along those lines and you'll find it. So. Uh, if you didn't spot it this week, that's how you can uh, find it. Anyway, we've got 106 people playing, and PC1546 is taking out the top spot at the moment with a cracking score of 80%. Uh, in second place is uh, Rickamers in 67%. All these three uh, have only played two boards, so we'll get to see how they uh, finish up. And third place is Bond70. So well done to PC1546. That is a ripper of a score. Can't compete with Pete, 61%. And Patio Chair. All right. Uh, who else do we have in here? Three No Down One. I'm not sure I've seen that one before. But, uh, welcome if that's your first time. Ooh, Smee again. Alright, so Bridge is not a dead game yet. In the Pete of the moment, learning well from Pete. I've got a little bit of a thing for people that uh, put my name in there, if you can't guess. Uh, but uh, let's jump in and see how we go. Alright, so we've got 13 highs. And there's one club double. So, choices here I could redouble and try penalizing them. It's hard to show my fifth heart if I do that. Uh, but I do have both majors, which makes it really good for trying to penalize them. Uh, do I want to try and double them? Do I want to try and get to uh, three no trumps? So if I redouble and double them, I want to beat, I want to hold them to four tricks. If I can hold them to only four tricks in whatever they bid to, that's better. If they get to diamonds, I don't think I'll want to try and penalize them. Although, maybe. Uh, I'm not really sure where they're going to go. Uh, this, this seems like a good hand to try and uh, get them at the one level. I would prefer if they were vulnerable. A weak hand with six clubs. All right. Whatever. Let's try a three now. And hope they don't just rattle off all the diamonds. I think they were in a world of pain if my partner didn't uh, run. If we just pass, what will they bid to? Uh, they've got a six card heart fit. <laughs> um, anyway, here we are. We've got uh, four, six, seven winners straight away. Right, he's got a takeout double. I could hope that the king, queen of hearts are on side, but I don't really have the entries to do that. Um, Twelve opposite. What have we got? 13, so 25, 15 missing, so East has at least 11. Um, I could hope for like Ace Dalton Club offside. That'll get me one club to go with my 4, 6, 7. That gets me up to 8. I could try and build a long heart trick. I could hope for King Queen third heart onside. Uh, West chose to pass here. Um, doesn't really mean much, unfortunately. So I could hope for King Queen third heart onside. I could hope for ten nine third heart offside. I could hope for Spades three three. I could hope for Ace Dalton club. I feel like I can try and keep a lot of options open. I might just be able to build my fifth heart as a winner if they get three hearts. They'll probably get two clubs. Um, I also think they're probably going to attack hearts. They get in. This makes me really want to. Would have wanted to penalize them in um, whatever they bid. Like, 3 no here is kind of a messy hand um, to play, but it looks like we would have got two spades, two diamonds, if not three, and a heart off the top. So I feel like uh, five, six winners off the top. I'm not sure where they would get their tricks from. Or which suit that would choose to play in. 
Uh, my gut's telling me to play a heart here. I'm not actually sure if that's good, though. I'll win um, and play a heart. Thinking of ducking the heart to see what they actually do. Okay, so... I could duck the spade and play... That lets me see if spades are 3-3, three, three, or if there's 10-9-3rd or king-queen-3rd heart. Um, I think it keeps my options open. Okay, so I can't play for... I can't play for... 10, 9, third heart. I could play for king, queen, third with east and come out a low heart. Uh, they East West have won two tricks. I could play like diamond, diamond. East has to find a discard on the diamonds. So let's say East has um, two clubs, three diamonds, four spades, and four hearts. I think if I play diamond, diamond, uh, they kind of get squeezed. Uh, if they pitch down to singleton ace of clubs, um, then I can... Play spade, spade. Hmm. I can also... I saw the eight of spades with uh, uh, west. That could be from eight, seven doubleton. That might give me some other hopes too. I really don't want to play for king, queen, third heart with ace. That seems super committal. I don't want to play for singleton ace of clubs. That seems super committal. Let's catch some diamonds and see what we, we find out. Club, okay, so East has only two diamonds, so they should be four, four, two, three. That's like the only realistic one. Okay, so they're down to singleton ace of clubs. I need my club to exit to them. Um, Okay, we'll now pull the nine of spades, which they have to cover, and let's see the seven. All right, so East hand is like honor X in hearts, queen X in spades, and stiff ace of clubs. So we exit a club to them. They win the ace, and now they set up a finesse position if they uh, exit um, a spade here. But they end played me, and I'm down one. Oh, I got squeezed. What happened there? I thought I had it. I thought I could have made it. 55%. 16 people did make it. Where did I go wrong? Well, like, we can make it. I got the 8-7 doubleton after they switched. I ruined my entries there. East had everything. Um, the bot bidding two clubs on one club double redouble pass is insane. He... <laughs> Has blindingly obvious pass, and then we do not get to three no trump. Yeah. Uh, so let's have a quick look at how most people made three no. So diamond, diamond. They cash diamonds, and they just ditched a spade, and now they get to cash spades and set them up. That is a surprisingly simple but also effective uh, move. Well, I thought that was a really cool hand for reading the play. I knew the end position exactly. I just forgot that I wasn't making on that sort of end position. Um, but I was only going down one. So I got an extra heart trick. So I got two hearts, two spades, and four diamonds. Oh yeah, I re never f realized I didn't actually set up an extra winner. But just reading the position there and getting the shape right was pretty cool. 
Um, yeah, cashing four diamonds is pretty decent. Um, I don't know why I didn't do it to start off with, or at least consider it. But I will take 55% for going off in a cold game there. Um, avoided two down, um, which is good. Okay, one spade, and I have a seven count. There's a nice easy pass, and see where the opponents end up. Uh, so one spade, two diamonds, which is game forcing. Um, I think two hearts, three clubs, which it is game forcing. Uh, three no trumps. So East has five spades, four hearts, and a club stopper. West has diamonds and either no club stopper or some sort of slam try. Um, to me, this looks like an easy club lead. A uh, heart is a possibility, but we're going to lead a club and try and set them up eventually. Club to the nine and ace. Wow. Okay, so uh, West has six diamonds. Uh, my partner has at least four diamonds. Uh, and... So my partner's got three spades, two hearts, and at least four diamonds. Three, two, four, four, or three, two, five, three. But it looks like I've got queen, jack, ten, nine of clubs, so three, two, four, four. And east is a five, four, two, two. Um, my partner has... Oh, dummy. My Points-wise, I've got seven... Dummy's got 13. So points are 20 20 uh, between the missing hands and what we can see. Uh, East has at least 11, I guess, maybe 12. Okay, so my partner's up to 8, and we've got uh, 3 in clubs and the Jack of Diamonds. Uh, so my partner can have up to 4 more points. Alright, so if my partner doesn't have either the king, queen, or spades, the opponents have nine tricks. Um, guarding both spades seems unnecessary, so I can at least let go one, and I can let go of one heart. Okay, so I've got five spades, three diamonds, and a club. He stitched their club. Uh, can East have both the Ace King of Hearts? I'd give them Ace King, King Queen. Like they can have extra points. If I ditch a club here now, if I ditch a heart here now, that's bad. If East has all of the points, um, and they can have it, my partner might have the king of spades is that a possibility it like not have hopped up like my partner really should hop up with the king I should have thrown the jack of spades not my uh, low spade that would have clarified it for my partner about what to do that eight of spades is a deceptive card Yeah, okay, so East has uh, all the, um, I want my partner to be able to keep on to clubs. Yeah, and their hand was high. <laughs> Good news, nothing I did mattered at all, so. 56%. Okay, 90 people. Some other people managed to let something happen. I have no idea how extra tricks would, could happen. Can you claim if your partner has the lead? Disaster. Tried to claim the rest for 9 claimed, 0 for 12. It doesn't ask you if you want to verify the claim as the defender, it seems. In the heat of the moment. My last available deal game... 
over ball burst. Can you claim if your partner has the lead? I don't know if you can claim. But uh, I will take my 56% and move on to board number three. Okay, uh, here we've got a flat 15, so one no. <laughs> Partner's hand is absolute garbage. Um, King of Hearts lead is surprisingly okay for me. Um, okay, and I shifted to a club. I think I can duck one round of clubs. Whoa. Okay, so we're up to three spades and now two aces, so we're at least uh, not too bad. All right, so my I could pull a heart now, and if allows me to cover whatever East plays. Um, alternatively, I could play like spade spade and see what happens. Yeah, let's cash our spades. Like, East, I think, might have Dalton 10 or Jack of Hearts, but probably not the Ace. 10 of Hearts, that's a good discard. Okay. And we'll let go a Diamond at this stage. Alright, so West pitched... Led the King of Hearts and pitched the 10. Uh, so they might have Ace-King 10 of Hearts, or Ace-King Jack 10 of Hearts, or King 10. So I've got King 10, I haven't, I've done poorly by not continuing a heart, but that seems unlikely. So it's mostly Ace-King 10 or Ace-King uh, Jack 10. Um, at either rate, I can just exit a heart. If they've... Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking, what about Ace-King 10 small? And now they pitch the 10 and kept their low heart. That would be a really, really weird thing to do. But let's see if the ace appears. Nope. Diamond. Okay. So I think I can duck a diamond as well. Okay. So do I just cash my ace of diamonds or do I set up my heart? I really wish I'd paid more attention to what discards that made. If I play a heart, I feel like East can just discard their last diamond and claim. Uh, West had... I just haven't paid attention to anything here. Uh, West started with four hearts. Um, and they, they switch to the Queen of Clubs, switch to the ace of spades I, I think I'll just cash out um, I, I think there's a fair bit of potential for playing a heart but here I, I just haven't paid enough attention to what east west cards have been so in this spot I don't want to do something um, super aggressive but yeah so I had another club I think it would have worked out the same 63%. Eight people got just down one. Okay, so two, four, three, four. So King of Hearts. And then pulled a diamond. They returned a diamond. And now cash the Ace of Hearts. Okay, so... Uh, they didn't know which one to do. But uh, currently 58%. Moving on to board number four. Got 13 highs. 5, 2, 3, 3. Start with a spade. Where my part? Club. Spade and no trump. Um, so we play check back stamen. Uh, not new minor forcing. 
want to find out if we've got a 5-3 spade fit. Um, so part, a minimum hand, and this denies three card spades. So it looks like three no trumps. That being said, four spades still might be better. Um, I don't have a good way to find out, but we'll just go to no trumps. Okay, uh, probably not better because... Um, Uh, my partner's got so much in hearts. So here we've got three spade winners, two diamonds is five, and a club is six. Um, they led the eight of clubs, so that could be from ace, queen, ten, eight. Or it might be top and nothing. So one player's got ace, queen, ten, eight. I'm going to put the jack on this. Um, so it looks like uh, lefty's got uh, the clubs. And so they've legitimately got clubs and they're playing them. Uh, because if my right hand opponent had ace queen 10 8, it would be very weird for them to duck that. Do I want to pull a heart? Do I want to duck a spade? <laughs> so I could lead a heart up, but they might just win and return a heart. That would be bad. I could play ace king queen of spades and another spade. Uh, if spades are 3 3 or jack 10 doubleton, then I've got uh, five spades, one club, and two diamonds for eight tricks. I would have to find three discards, but I might not need to find them straight away. Uh, I can discard one heart comfortably. Maybe a club. The extra discard is absolutely brutal here. Uh, if I play a heart, if lefty's got the ace of hearts and they just win and return one, it's terrible for me. Uh, if righty's got the ace of hearts and wins and plays a club through, it's okay, uh, that's not too bad. I think we're gonna go with spades. How do we go? Okay, spades are 3-3. Three, three. So that, that's a bit of good news because I really don't want to play that extra spades. But I don't want to play the spades just now. Um, I think I want to set up a heart. I've got five spades, two diamonds, and a club. So pull a heart up. And thinking of playing the jack of diamonds uh, to the king, not intending to cash it. Not run it, I mean. But uh, they might cover it. Um, they're ditching all the diamonds. Uh, it makes me think Lefty does have the uh, Queen of Diamonds. Do I want to ditch a diamond, pull a heart up? Okay, so. If Lefty had the Ace of Hearts, they probably should have won the Ace and returned one. Um, so I think the Ace of Hearts is with um, my right-hand opponent, but that's still bad because they can fly Ace and push a club through. So if we're not doing that, let's abandon our Hearts. Okay, that finesse failed. So we'll try and end play lefty. Okay, so all the clubs were offside. I could have taken the diamond finesse. I made nine tricks. Um, I think this is a bad score. 22%, yeah. Nine of hearts. Okay, so if they don't look, you just get heart and a diamond shift. That. So I made 11 tricks. Opened one no trump. I guess playing Ackle. And get a club lead and they score the nine. Ah, oh, 
clubs of five. Clubs of five. Oh, I saw the five of clubs discard as well. I should have known that clubs were five, uh, whatever, and I could have pulled a, a heart up, I think. Um, but yeah, that was sloppy play by me. Um, should have made 10 tricks. But 22%. Or I should have come closer to making 10 tricks at least. Um, yeah. I, I feel like I'm off the boil a bit today. Um, but anyway, uh, let's take a moment to have a look at last week's puzzles. So one puzzle I gave last week was uh, one of these spirals is just one continuous line. And one of these spirals is two lines intertwined. So which one do you think is one line and which one do you think is two lines? Um, here, the answer is uh, the left one is just one continuous line and the other one's two uh, separate. So it's a lot easier if uh, we uh, bring up separate colors. But here, if you separate the other one, uh, it's just two spirals intertwined. And yep. Yeah. So, a little tricky visual puzzle there. Uh, Marty said, we don't come here for sloppy play. You come here for my charming personality, I thought. Otherwise, why are you watching? <laughs> um, so, next week's, well, this week's puzzle is about a missing dollar. So, if I borrow $50 from my mum and $50 from my dad, that's $100. I buy a shirt that's worth $97, I have $3 change. I give one to my mum, one to my dad, and I keep $1 for myself. So I owe my dad uh, $49 and I owe my num <laughs> I owe my mum $49. Together that's $98 plus the $1 I kept is $99. So where did that other dollar go? So see if you can try and work that one out. <laughs> Get on the boil. Yeah, I like it. Alright, so let's move on to hand number five. Flat 15 count. Let's go one no trump. Stamen, two hearts, three no. Good. They, my partner didn't force me to work out if I was going to accept the infight with a minimum hand. Uh, but six of diamonds. That looks like it's not from an honor. Because uh, that's the second, well, that's the highest diamond pip that's not um, a diamond, not a uh, honor, so like, it's queen jack six, so it's not low from that. So east has queen jack of diamonds. Can you keep the diamond seven until trick 13? Well, that's a good question. Um, my guess is probably not. Well, I, actually, yes, I can. But if I'm going for a good score, my guess is probably not. Um, at any rate, I want to try and hide what's going on. Uh, it looks like working on hearts is a decent idea. Um, I don't want West to push clubs through twice, but we'll put a diamond in, they cover, and we'll uh, just work on a heart. I care about the nine of hearts here, so keep an eye out for that. Heart to the king, and they switch to club. So that's all right. Diamond. I could play for Queen Jack Doubleton. Okay, so I get one discard on the uh, my entries are kind of mangled. I get one discard on the spade and one on the club. If my right hand opponent, like I can't, no, I can. If uh, one of these suits, like if hearts are 3-3 three, three and diamonds are 4-2, uh, then I probably have the rest of the tricks playing a heart. If diamonds are 2-4 and hearts are 4-2, I probably have an extra trick playing a diamond. So basically I want to guess um, which, like, can they untangle the suits? 
Um, my guess is that Hearts are four with West and East has two. Uh, the reason being is why would West duck the Heart or East potentially duck the Heart um, when I played another one up? Uh, also, West made a passive lead, so probably has the Ace of Hearts and a bit two Hearts, so they wouldn't lead from Ace nine fourth. So we'll, we'll, we'll play the Diamond. Yeah, they were 3 3. Okay, so it didn't, didn't actually matter. But good news, my hand is good, and so is that 7 of diamonds. I don't know if I got a good score. My guess is no, but it'll be okay. So. Here you go, just for you, Moddy. Who knows which order I would have played my last two tricks in? 57%! Oh, that's that's generous. Um, some people didn't. Some people did manage an extra trick though. But did they do it with the beer card? I am back above 50%. Is the Diamond 7 a winner? Yes. Yes, it was. But if I, if I had any doubt, I would have cashed my winning Ace of Spades first and then gone, is this 7 a winner? Um, it's really hard to get the beer card when the robot's just like auto claim for you with uh, some tricks to go. Anyway, uh, two hearts. Stop. Um, just a week two. Uh, this seems fine for a three club bid. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it when it goes all pass. But the opponents do have a double fit and so do we. Um, so the opponents have nine hearts and didn't bid on. West also has long spades. Uh, okay, so I've got two spades, a diamond, a heart, and a club to lose at least. I've got another diamond loser, but we'll see. So ace of hearts. So West has Ace King. Okay, so East has Ace Jack of Hearts, West has Ace King of Spades. Um, my right hand opponent has doesn't have a short diamond. Oh, stiff king of clubs. Should have cashed that jack of spades. Um, but the diamond ace is with West anyway. So I shouldn't have cashed that jack of spades. Good thinking, Pete. So we'll draw trumps and we can safely play a diamond to the queen. And ditch the uh, diamond loser and give him a diamond. So the opponents didn't bid on. I have no idea why they had a really... They could have made a lot of tricks. Two hearts makes nine or ten tricks. One person bid two no trumps. Is that a sensible choice? Ah, uh, so they made a takeout double and their partner bid two no trumps. Yeah, I do not rate the takeout double, but it certainly worked on this one. Uh, but 61%, that is really generous. I didn't do anything on this hand. What was the West's hand? Ah, uh, East had seven hearts, so that's why they, they didn't know to bid on, because they only had a Dalton heart. But they had useful cards. But uh, that was board number six. So at 52%, moving on to board number seven. So here we've got 10 points, 5332, three, so just pass. Club, a diamond, bit of spade, double three spades, fit and a, an unbalanced hand. Ooh, this looks like a pretty easy four spade bid. Okay, so we have one heart, we've got two diamonds, but my righty's probably got the ace of diamonds. Uh, I also have a club loser. 
I could. Looks like hearts are probably 4-4, four, four, although West might have longer hearts than 4. If I... Do I want to duck the first heart? I think I want to duck the first heart. Uh, there's some chance I can lose the club to West and, like... West can't really have King, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds. But... Alright, we'll take that. And this looks like a really flat one. We'll draw trumps. See if spades aren't 4-0. Alright, they're not. Um, <laughs> I want to get west with like queen 10 third to cover my first club and then cover my second club such that I have no losers. Um, Alright, so spades are 3-1, so let's draw an extra round of that. And we'll lead the nine of clubs. Just watch them cover. Oh, they didn't. Let's cross back and lead another club to see if they uh, pop. They didn't. Oh, I should have put the eight in. Um, like there was a chance West had queen jack. Uh, I really, really should have put the eight in. <laughs> West could have had queen jack fourth club. And they should have um, not. But they should play low. So I missed my actual chance there, but um, didn't, got away with that one. 54% and everyone's doing the same ones. This is a flat set of cards. Except for board four where I threw in the towel. Lucky last. Uh, 13 count, 4-4, four, 2-3. Four, uh, so I think there's a takeout double. I don't have a... Um, shorted in clubs or length in diamonds but I got both majors and I really want my partner to bid well two spades that's probably enough well I got a club fit if they have a club fit uh, then they might not have a club fit if my partner's got a doubleton club this hand's awesome let's compete to three spades Okay, my partner does have the uh, club shortage there. Uh, so we've got two clubs, two diamonds, and a heart to lose. The opponents looked like they were losing two spades, one heart most of the time, maybe one diamond. At any rate, uh, I want to trump a club. Okay, so lefty is the one that's opened. Did the old switch rule on me? Ace King Jack of Clubs. Alright. I feel like I need to lead hearts up a couple of times. Um, I don't think anyone's got a singleton. Don't think spades are breaking poorly. Um, yeah, so I got yeah, I got the rest of the tricks now. I can just draw the trump, and I got the queen of diamonds and two clubs. Uh, three spades down one. Have to be slightly careful. Hearts worth three three. I think they make 60% so a couple of people bought it in two spades but if you sold out to three clubs that makes so vast majority of people getting to uh, three spades club a spade so choosing the four card overcall there allows you to buy it um, because they just raise clubs and don't compete for some reason uh, anyway, uh, that was this week's uh, Funbridge tournament. Um, 
re <laughs> pretty flat boards all in all. Uh, but some really cool ones for like in the sense of trying to pick what the hands actually look like um, Some really interesting card reading proposition there. So I hope you enjoyed that at least um, So I wanted to give a big shout out to all my patreon supporters for um, Supporting me in this it allows me to keep making these sorts of videos. So a uh, big thanks to all of them um, I will be doing a, a Patreon challenge match coming up more so um, if you want to learn more about Patreon, um, or if you want to even have the chance to uh, play the challenge match actually, uh, check out my Patreon by checking the link below or over there. Um, but also, the puzzle that I posted this week was, if I borrow $50 from my mum, $50 from my dad, that's 100 bucks, and I buy a shirt, that's uh, $97. I have $3 change. I give $1 to my mum, $1 to my dad, and I keep $1. I owe my mom 49 and I owe my dad 49 that's $98. Plus the $1 I kept is 99 so where is that other dollar? So thanks all for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.